Hello and welcome everyone. I'm so glad that you can join me today. My name is... Habitat? Wait, what? Uh, uh, okay, okay. Uh, and I am the Wildlife Seeker. So what are we doing today? Well, we are seeking life that lives in... The wild. While I'm out here, I need to stay safe, so I have a production crew that has emergency first aid experience. I also have a few other tools to help me out, including binoculars. So binoculars can serve multiple purposes. One of them being, if you see a dangerous animal out over there, like a rattlesnake, you can use these to see the rattlesnake at a very comfortable distance so that you don't put yourself or your friends in danger. Binoculars can also be used to see animals that are way, way too far away to even study with your own naked eye, like birds in the sky. So when you see a bird, you can whoa, see all the color and the detail to that bird. The other thing binoculars can do is if you turn them around, you can, oh, you guys are all tiny. All of you are tiny. No, I can't even read the cue card, Kevin. It's, it's like, it's like this big. You're also like that, wait, wait, Kevin. Yeah, I'm trying to pop you, I'm trying to pinch you. All right, fine, it doesn't work, Kevin. What's the point? All right, I'll read the cue card. Because when you turn the binoculars around, you can use them as a hand lens. Whoa, I can actually see my entire fingerprint. That's pretty impressive. So when you're in a pinch, use binoculars as a hand lens. And again, I have my snake-proof boot covers so that we can protect myself from venomous snakes. See that, Kevin? I said venomous again. I'm learning. Yeah. Yeah, you should applaud. So the past couple episodes, we've found some really interesting wildlife. I can't wait to see what we're going to discover today. Are you ready to go seek some wildlife with me? All right, everybody. I actually see some wildlife over there. Ready? We're going for it. Yeah. All right, guys, we got a real wild one here, and I got to get it. Oh, that was a tree. That was the face into a tree. Oh, Oh, that hurt. Yep. Uh, we might need that first aid experience. Oh, we got a real wild one here. The prairie coneflower. Or as the scientist might, in you might know it by, it's dichotomous key. What? Sorry. It's binomial nomenclature. Ratibida columnifera. Hey, Kevin. Kevin. No, seriously, Kevin. Thank you. Thank you for not writing the cue card in that really weird squiggly language you called cursive? I mean, that archaic thing is like decades old, Kevin. You showed your age again, but thank you for not writing it this time. Oh, okay. But this, the prairie cone flower, kind of looks like a party hat, right? I mean, right? That's, that's the way I kind of see it as. And this is in the aster family. Now the aster family is a party of at least 32,000 species. Now the prairie coneflower is very palatable and nutritious to all classes of domestic livestock, along with a lot of big game. The seeds are also sought after by upland birds and small mammals, like preschoolers. What? Preschoolers are not the small... Preschools are small mammals, Kevin. They are. Huh? Yeah, I got you on that one. Oh, oh, sorry, not preschoolers. Preschoolers don't go after the seeds on these. Uh, it's, it's small mice and rats. Those are the small mammals that go after these, not preschoolers. I'm sorry, Kevin, I stand corrected. Not preschoolers, small rats and mice. Those are the mammals, and then upland birds. I hope you enjoyed seeing today's wildlife. Join us next time so that you can become a wildlife seeker with us.